Hey guys, and welcome to week 34 of my devlog for finding home. Alright, um, the zombie game I'm creating. Let's just hit the EXE here and uh, get into a uh, new build. So this week I didn't uh, work on the Ground Zero map at all. I worked more on the Broken Visions map. Just to kind of get something started on one of the multiplayer maps. I haven't added the loading screen in here yet. This is my first time running a build. So, just trying to see how long it takes. It's not bad. Alright. So you can see here, got some forest, big old map, I think I always underestimate how big this map is. But, needless to say, um, as you can see, I start here, and there is this road, and there's the forest, but if I was to escape, I think you can go to the main menu here, uh, single player, new game, grand, broken visions. Uh, I set up 52 different spawn locations. Um, so each time you spawn in, it will randomly choose one of those 52 spawn locations. As well as each time you die, if you don't set a bed down, you'll go to one of those 52 different spawn locations. Um, like I said, uh, oh, got some floating grass I gotta fix. Alright, um, or it could be just wig it out because I didn't let it load properly. It's usually there's not like weird bald areas like this. As you can see, last time I was completely surrounded by ocean. This time we got this like river in the center here. Um, there's still road here. Now what I'm looking for and why I'm kind of quiet is I'm looking for my AI. And believe it or not, I do have a bunch of AI spawning all over the place. No matter what spawn you go to, there should be AI. I might have to put more, like, just more spawners. I didn't want to spam, like, a ton of spawners all over the place. Because I figured that would just bogged down the system maybe I have to do like a bunch more like level streaming volume so it all handles the spawners better and that way it could have a ton of spawners Oh, there we go. There, there, there's some AI here. So yeah. There is life. You got some pigs. You got some, some squirrels. Got 
got some boars. Got some goats, some rats. Rabbit. Deer. Yeah, I'm just got a bunch actually spawning here. And if you kill them, um, I just got them. Oh, no, oh, ah. Alright, I believe I gave, uh, the bullet some bleed damage. A health drink. Water. Yeah, the, I'm gonna fix the uh, the drop on a lot of these guys. Um, I just test them to make sure they could drop stuff for now. But I don't think um, I'm gonna have deers dropping flashlights and bandages. Oh, I got. So right now again, I just have it tested a bunch of stuff. The zombies do attack animals, and I think I'm gonna turn that off right now, or at least switch the tags so that the the bears don't kill the zombies, and that the zombies don't chase down little mice. Cause that's what these guys are probably doing. I have to fix the targeting so they target the closest target. Right now they have a specific target somewhere else. Oh, these guys don't. Oh, sweet, I bet. Oh, I'm going to need to put a bed in the house. That's fine. Let's go do some of that stuff. All right. So those spawners were gonna spawn a ton of guys. I'm gonna try to run away here. See if I can get that maybe de despawn a little bit because that's uh, gonna probably lag me out. It's gonna spawn like like 200 something AI, something crazy. Oh, there's another spawner over there that's spawning about 200 AI. But again, it's just a test to see how much it bogs down the system and stuff like that. I can see that it is bogging down mine a little, which is fine. I'm going to give it to a couple other people and see how they do with theirs. But yeah, collect some wood here for wood. For berries some plant fiber but yeah I'm gonna go over the spawners uh, I just kinda wanted to see if I could get something going here how expensive did I make it do Oh, I don't have a blueprint. Right, 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 right. So I'm going to have to try to give the character a blueprint. That way they can build stuff. I just realized I don't have a blueprint. So I won't be able to build. And without being able to build, I won't be able to make a crafting bench. Without a crafting bench, I won't be able to... Oh, there was guys over there. Look, there's, there's guys. Oh, there's guys. But yeah, I won't be able to show off what I was hoping to show off because I'm silly and I need to put more stuff in. But yeah, I was working on this map, got some trees and some stuff in there. 
This is a, a map that my mom wanted to work on a map with me together. But I, I wanted to have something, like I said, for you guys for multiplayer. And a couple other people who were going to work with, wanted to work with me on something. Um, haven't really been available yet. So I wanted something that if people wanted to play multiplayer in and jump in, they had. So this is just, uh, I got to make sure that this is what I wanted to make sure was up and running. And then again, I could edit it and funk, like, uh, and tweak it to make it better so if we needed more enemies we can get more enemies if we needed uh, um, right now I think I have a lot of too much food I get maybe that the player starts with the blueprint and then obviously uh, have a higher chance of maybe blueprints dropping off the enemies and stuff so you could always build uh, just in case if for some reason somebody threw their blueprint in the ground all right but I think that is it that I have for the main game. I go to the menu. Yeah, I definitely didn't change much in the main game. Yeah, because uh, I've been working more on uh, trying to get the game ready for Steam again. So oh, I could show you guys some of that stuff. I think I showed you guys. I don't too sure if I showed you guys last time. So, I've been working on pictures for my game logo. So, finding home, um, kind of cover box stuff. And these are like the different random sizes that they require for uh, Steam. Uh, small ones, big ones, and they need even more. These were the ones before I got to the next. I didn't realize that it was, it was mad at me and I didn't realize there's another tab. When you click on the tab, it has a whole bunch of more sizes for the library of Steam now, so I have to get that all done. Um, the next thing I wanted to also show you guys again is I, I always keep harping on this thing, just because you know you know I hope one day like a lot of friends and people work with me and stuff. But uh, the to pick up the free assets for the month, um, it's now the first Tuesday of the uh, oh it's past the first Tuesday of the the new month of uh, September and we got some great kits here some uh, level design toolkit so it's easy blocks and stuff to help you uh, play a level uh, if you're doing a cartoony kind of game an alchemist house this old brick house is really good for me what uh, normally costs 63 bucks uh, for free is definitely good because it's all the interiors like so all this old-fashioned kit It'll definitely work good on some of the maps I have, um, especially the map that I was uh, hoping my fiance was going to work on. Uh, the old, the old-fashioned cupboards and everything will work good in some of the houses to add variety. Some old retro players and stuff get the music going. Old perk, uh, poker table, some old bathrooms, and they're nice and like kind of grungy and dirty. I like that too. Kind of fits the theme a little bit. Um, looks like it has a nice concrete uh, surrounding this looks like it's just an HDMI picture this is just like a uh, for showcasing it's just a weird background that nobody actually uses and they just had some flat grass and stuff there but yeah uh, free uh, can't argue with that the other pack that I really like that look kinda cool uh, is they have this free hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat kinda animation pack for like kicking jumping backflips it looks like or like back handsprings um, yeah 46 animations for close combat 10 attacks 11 evades 3 blocks uh, 9 different hit animations uh, some locomotions which there's so much locomotion so I don't think uh, that's really needed but uh, it's always nice get more idols in there at least Yeah, uh, I think the week was uh, pretty cool. Um, some people really like splines to make walls and stuff, so definitely, definitely a, a good variety week for free stuff. And remember, they always usually come up with one permanent free item. Um, and again, the, the to find it if you don't see it in the main home, you can always just go to Epic. 
um, the Epic Games content you could use. The Mega Scan content is free as long as you're making Epic uh, Games with Unreal. Um, the free for the month is free, obviously. And then, yeah, you have the permanently free collection. Um, and something new will probably pop in here, if not now. The, the permanently free one sometimes comes closer to the end of the month, I, I've always noticed. And also, because it's weird, it does the, from the newest product to the oldest product. And what is coming free might not necessarily be a new product to the store. It might be old. So you can't just go to... It, it won't be just on page one a lot of the time. Sometimes it will be on page, like, six, but... You'll definitely usually know because there'll be like little advertisement kind of things when uh, something comes out. Alright, with that, uh, showed the logos. Um, yeah, let's go in engine and check out uh, some of the map stuff that I was working on. So if we open up here, one of the sections in the map. I'll show you. Um, right now, I'm running off a new external hard drive, which is not a solid state. So my disk will be running high, but I'll also um, see my D drive here. Um, but it's also huge, so I can run all my game stuff. It's like eight terabytes. Um, the problem being, like, it's not a, a SSD, so it kind of like bogs it down. So my frame rate won't be, I guess it's still 120, 120, yeah, I was trying, like I said, I'm trying to optimize everything. So when these guys come in, um, they create their own nav meshes, and right now, like I was saying, it's a little silly, um, it's spawning five of these zombies, five of these zombies five of these zombies five of these zombies you know I mean these are all the different things I'm spawning from rabbits to goats in total there's about over there's over 80 AI that I'm spawning in this one spawn and each this spawn is duplicated all over the place and right now I have them kind of usually near like forested areas so uh, the animals look like they're coming out of the forest, I guess, and the zombies are kind of near the forest. But as you can see, the activation and deactivation links are quite big. So as long as the player is within here, the spawner will constantly keep these all those creatures and animals alive and spawning. They do have a respawn time of like, so even if you killed them all, they'll come back. And again, um, the whole hope is that in time. Um, I would add bigger and stronger monsters as well, more annoying things like if you played stuff like the forest, you'll have these like big tentacly monsters that come after a while, or um, yeah. And so I, I'm looking up a couple of different monsters to add to it. Um, but yeah, each zone here has has a bunch of different spawners to keep it kind of active and like I said each obviously whenever you die there's gonna be a bunch of these little um, permanent kind of piers that you spawn at all around and if I go to um, you can see that there's even some rivers and different styles. In some areas, they're pretty heavy with the zombies. But uh, that's why it was kind of chopping. So, like, say if the player right now was, like, in this area here, it would activate this spawner, this spawner, this spawner, this spawner, this spawner, this spawner, and this spawner. And each one of those spawners are spawning. 80 to 100 guys so I think right now if I'm not mistaken oh, uh, hey yeah right now I have a maximum the, the Unreal Engine is going to have a maximum of like 200 AI that actually 
will function properly. Once you get above 200 AI, the engine will start. It will start acting funny. It won't. It won't really properly run the AI. Um, I could just up the number, I guess, but um, it's not always the best practices because it also just will hit your performance. So I don't really plan on having each one of these spawn that many types of mobs um, but I wanted to make sure all the mobs are spawning no matter where I start now that I have 52 zones that you randomly start start in every time I go to test I'm gonna spawn in one of 52 random zones or wherever I spawn I wanted to make sure that there was gonna be zombies in the nearby future like in the nearby area that you could fight and kill and stuff um, And I just wanted to make sure that all the spawners were working. But I, in the end, I do want to kind of like place spawners, like especially for the animals, like dead in the in the forest. But I just didn't know if the forest was this thick, and so that's why I had some doing some testing. That if and you can see I was trying to try to test here. If when I stand in this area, if I notice that only it's spawning up front here because maybe the trees and rocks are messing with the spawning collision because it tries to spawn but if there is an object in the way it won't spawn and to be honest these trees and these rocks are kind of big too and it's not going to spawn the guy in the air it's going to want to spawn him on the ground and if i keep the forest too dense they might not actually spawn in here so they might only spawn in this open area so then maybe i'll have to purposely thin out certain forest areas in the center but again a lot of it I'll get on player feedback to see what they think if they don't mind just like random zombies spawning in the middle of nowhere um, but the whole hope I think with a lot of the forest spawning and stuff is that the player wouldn't see the spawn because these AI do branch out they do roam and they can roam um, pretty far like just because this spawner activates when the player is within uh, for this spawner here we can click on it so as you can see this spawner activates when the player is within this ring um, doesn't mean the zombie won't walk out past that it just means that as long as the player is within here that zombie can still move and still attack other things and stuff like that and as long as a player as long as one player is in there so I don't know how it's gonna work with multiplayer because then um, technically if you have a couple players over here a couple players over here a couple players over here all of these spawners are gonna be activated it's gonna be actually kind of crazy so again I'm gonna down the numbers each one of these spawners are not gonna spawn a hundred guys they may be like this spawner spawns a ton of zombies and maybe this spawner spawns like animals but I gotta work out um, and w with the testing stuff I gotta work out what people people think is is good and this and that and that's the whole whole fun of it right we'll keep trying things and we'll get everything going um, but yeah I hope you guys are liking what you're seeing again I'm still working as, as much as I can to get stuff done uh, with, the, with the steam thing and um, now we have a multiplayer map so I'm hoping yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get uh, a blueprint on the player so that you start off with the blueprint and I'll show that next time and uh, hopefully if all goes well then next time I don't want to save because do a thing. I'm gonna have all of this map kind of done as well. That way, there's a couple different variations of multiplayer maps, and um, I'm gonna do the spawns in this map here differently than the first map. So then, people could take a look at the spawns in one map versus the spawns in the other map and tell me what they what they prefer I think for um, 
think for Dead Island, I'm going to do more of an individual spawn, like place individual actors, maybe. Uh, if that's not too time consuming. Again, the other thing about just dropping that many spawns in each one, it was pretty quick for me to be able to do. Just drop this here, make sure it's nice on the ground, drop it here, make sure it's nice on the ground. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping next week to start getting this guy going. Um, the first thing I'll have to do is uh, for the trees for sure. Uh, let's see. Foilage. So I click on this tree here. Um, like I said, I've been adding components. So this is just a component class, it's just a foliage static instant. Where I would want um, probably the wood resource attached to that tree. Interactive wood resource component. Interactive fire, interactive berries. I would probably do interactive wood resource component. And um, probably do that for all the trees here. Maybe light them all up. Interactive wood component, 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 interactive wood component. Uh, let's go back to select mode. Uh, player start. Hatchet world item. Let's drag one of those in there. Let's see if I can hit play. And now I should be able to chop trees down if I get the hatchet. Quick. So yeah, I have another sp uh, another pocket spot here. They could all put a put a blueprint uh, the blueprint in that pocket spot. Let's see, we should be able to. Yeah. Oh, I made it collectible. I don't know. Yeah. So that's the wrong type of component resource. <laughs> Who needs to chop trees when you can just collect them? Yeah. Um. Spoilage. So, it would be the resource. Yeah, I should have thought of stone and iron, right? So it would be the wood resource there. Make sure that they're all wood re resource. Yeah, the component I just have set of like what I want it to do to the static mesh, right? And uh, what kind of like so in the component I I just say it's of type foliage component, so that um, you can just place it down wherever you want to place it. And uh, that's a this is again I, I I was mentioned to somebody that uh, like a couple of the family and friends that are always trying to figure out how quickly and how I have things set up and when you have things set up like that it's just pretty quick to change things on the flash yeah now it's uh now I could chop the tree down and collect the wood and yeah, there we go <laughs> so now I just now that I got the trees working I'll have to get some rocks in there because you're gonna need stone and some iron in there some 
and then um, some zombies and stuff. And in Katie's version of the map that she has, I know she has um, her character and she has some zombies and stuff, but she hasn't really finished a lot of the stuff and I want to get things in there for now, a part of the, the full complete version. And when she has her map done, I'll just import it and uh, do some replacements. But uh, that's it for the showcase I have today, and that's it for time. Uh, hopefully you guys, again, are liking what you're seeing. Any comments, again, um, don't forget to drop it in the Discord or in the bottom comment section of the video. Um, and uh, thanks, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Ciao.